a year. Students, let's calculate number of days the earth takes to complete its one revolution around the sun. Now, let's see here. Here is the month of January. Now, when the earth is here, it takes 31 days. Then when the earth moves towards February, it takes 28 days. When it comes near March, it will be 31 days. Again, when it approaches April, 30 days. When it comes near May, it is 31 days. Again, when it comes towards June, 30 days. The month of July, 31 days. Month of August, again 31 days. Month of September, 30 days. Month of October, 31 days. Month of November, 30 days. Month of December, 31 days. Let's sum up all the days. January 31 days. February 28 days. March 31 days. April 30 days. May 31 days. June 30 days. July 31 days. August 31 days. September 30 days. October 31 days. November 30 days. December 31 days. Now let's make total. If we add all the figures, we will get 365 days. Students, here our total is 365 days. But this period is not exactly the period of revolution of the earth. The earth takes 365 days and 6 hours to complete its one revolution around the sun. Students, here the earth takes 365 days and 6 hours to complete its one revolution around the sun. Now, as this period is 365 days and 6 hours, then this 6 hours goes where? To cover up this 6 hours in Gregorian calendar, there is an arrangement done. Let's see what it is. Here, first year, the period of revolution is 365 days and 6 hours. Second year, again 365 days and 6 hours. Third year, 365 days. 6 hours. Fourth year, 365 days, 6 hours. Now, let's calculate these days. Here, 6 hours, 6 hours, 6 hours, 6 hours, 6 fours are 
ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स इट मेक्स ए डे नाउ दिस वन डे इज कैलकुलेटेड इन द मंथ ऑफ फेब्रुवरी द फोर्थ इयर दिस डेज आर ट्वेंटी नाइन इंस्ट ऑफ ट्वेंटी एट एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दैट इन दैट ईयर दैट इज द फोर्थ ईयर द टोटल नंबर ऑफ डेज आर थ्री हंड्रेड सिक्सटी सिक्स डेज एंड दिस फोर्थ ईयर इज कॉल्ड एज लीप ईयर स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज अ सक्सेस Here is North Pole, here is South Pole. Earth axis is tilted, and Earth rotates around this axis. Now this green line is nothing but equator. As you know that equator divides the Earth into two equal hemisphere. Now this upper hemisphere is northern hemisphere. and the lower hemisphere is southern hemisphere now when the sun rays fall on the earth this part is getting illuminated so this half part is nothing but day here and opposite to this half part here is night this period is between 22nd march to 23rd september now during this period this northern hemisphere receives sunlight for longer time so your days are longer than nights days are longer than nights hence here is summer season while in southern hemisphere here nights are longer as the sun rays received in southern hemisphere are very few nights are longer than days hence this hemisphere experiences winter season in india summer the rainy season and winter are considered to be the main seasons we also divide the year into six seasons namely vasant grishma varsha sharad hemant and shishir the cycle of six seasons is called the ritu chakra many of our festivals are connected with the seasons many of our songs and games are also related to the different seasons